don't start turning here so that at M, his head is off the circle, you start your movement at M and start turning your circle. Okay. If that makes sense. So all these things, like whatever letter you're doing your movement from, like your shoulders and his shoulders touch that letter when you start your movement. Although on that test, does it say, it says between two letters, mm -hmm. not um, at. at so yeah, I. Because, because I'm talking like across the diagonals and stuff. Don't turn before you get to M. You want your shoulders, his shoulders, hitting M before you turn across the diagonal. Okay. And the betweens are their way of kind of giving us stepping stones to more and more precision. Mm -hmm. Right, right. You know, so those betweens are help us. One day it's going to be at, but this test they're like, hey, it's okay. So we know that's yeah. harder. So yeah. Mm -hmm. I only assume it's green horses and or green riders that are not used life. to doing this. So that's another reason too. All right, who's, are you doing again or are you going to ride it again? I'm going to ride again. Yeah. Okay. You're going to ride it again. Let that big trot out there. And so, would you like for us to yell out comments while you're doing it? Or Well, it's going to be too late to correct it, probably. Good boy, good job. Well, I was trying to give him a little more freedom so yeah. he could move out and a little. You could tell in his tempo because he wasn't like fast, 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 Yeah. Fast, 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 um, fast. I was still having troubles. Well, I had big trouble with this corner right here. Okay. It's, it's kind of 
not your fault because this isn't normally and if you're soldering you have a rail or something like all the way there so you'd right. be able to see it so you wouldn't be able to overshoot that turn yeah um so i think that's just nature of the and area. i felt like his walk was better much better yeah because he was able to he was stretching to mm -hmm. try and reach your hand and in turn that opened up his top line and so he had that nice swinging walk. and then i felt like coming up the center line to the walk we got that on point yes, much, better. Was much better. Yeah. You supported him with that outside shoulder, and so it made him have mm -hmm. a nice, accurate, clean turn. Um, he did get a little nervous and did that little trot jig. But. You know, my fault because I was trying to give him a, get him to speed up just a little in his yeah. walk, yeah. and I've been working on a jog with him, okay. and so he just, you know, really my, my fault. That's okay. Yeah. No, that's fine. <laughs> Yeah, I huh? think that one was good. And I think you fixed a lot of, like I said, the tempos were good. Um, they stayed pretty consistent. Um, the only thing is, like I said, on that bend for some reason, and I probably just because this is his bad direction, but, you know, again, we had that little bend issue coming down this wall um, to your trot circle where he was bent to the outside. Um, where I was coming across here? Uh, no, like after when you first came in and then mm -hmm. you go down the long side yeah. and you pick up your trot. When you yeah. pick up your trot, I think you're trying to keep, I think we were just talking about this. I think you're trying to keep him on the wall. I am so because you your outside ring to he, the he would just come all the way over. It's, yeah. it's like an Achilles heel for us. Right. So I think that the easiest way to do that is don't correct him with your hands so much because mm -hmm. that's making his head tilt to the outside because you're trying to steer him back with your hands right, to the right. wall as opposed to using your inside leg to push him over to the wall. So, Can I um, just trot up? And do that one time. Yeah, That's it. Yeah. We're here all that week now. Yeah, this is a really cool thing to be able to get to do. Huh? It is. Hey. Good job. Good boy. Good boy. Good, good. All right, let's see. So it's coming this way and going down. Oh, I pick it up at M. Yeah, medium walk here, and then try to end, and then try and think about using that inside leg to keep them over next to the wall instead of your outside leg. Good job, Tico. That was that was better, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. Absolutely. Yeah, so that makes sense because I was using the rain and yeah. we're getting this. Does Shelby, Shelby ever say this to you during lessons with her? Does she ever say that if the hand crosses the midline, then it's a sign that the feet isn't working at that moment? Right. Yeah, yeah so that's another way to say what Shane was having you work yeah. on. So that's the same thing that she's asking for. And I, it took me a long time not to... 